You are going to hear that term social distancing a lot. If you haven't already, there are certainly ways that we can help do what's called flatten the curve. Yeah, so we're trying to do that right here in our studio. Sonia Azad is here to explain exactly what that is. It's been interesting. I'm sure people have seen graphs and things like that pop up on social media. Yeah. And by the way, Mark, who hasn't heard of social distancing yet? If you've been watching Daybreak, you know what we're talking about. People get with it. Uh, hey, in recent days, people have been talking about this flattening the curve, okay, when it comes to fighting the novel coronavirus. What does that mean? Well, the curve is the speed, you guys, at which the outbreak multiplies. So flattening the curve essentially means slowing the rate of the spread, okay? And we accomplish that by taking protective measures like Yes, social distancing. So take a look at this on your screen here. You see that red line? That is where we will be if we don't take precautions. Now, the blue line is what happens if we do, okay? And these tactics, you guys, may not stop the spread entirely, but they do help. So let's revisit social distancing. So this is a term we're hearing a lot these days. It's one that we've been talking about on daybreak. It's one that we're practicing here as well at WFAA. It means avoiding big crowds, keeping space between anyone you come in contact with. At least six feet is what's recommended, something we are even doing here at WFAA. So really, we can all do our part to help when it comes to this pandemic. That's why you're going to notice I don't get to walk back to the desk and hang out with you guys, but even our guests who come in, you know, Dr. Crow is here. We've been chatting at a safe distance as well. It's a whole new norm. Yes. And it seemed weird at first not to shake hands. <laughs> Poor Mark. Hi there. How's but going? now it just seems like, um, you know, the right thing to do. It is for now, right? I mean, we've seen that this works. When we look at what happened in China, when we look at what's happened in Iran and Italy and France, we know that this works. All right. Uh, we all know that there is a lot to process, as you heard this morning. That's why our coverage is not done when the show ends. Yeah, as we continue to learn more, so can you as well. If you want more information, you can visit our website, WFA.com.